inside Pro Drive and the first thing I'm greeted with is this Le Mans winning car. I was actually sat in the stands when this thing came over the line uh, just ahead of um, whatever else, the, the American car. Anyway, 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 it's very, very cool to see this car in the flesh because this is the car that my AMR Vantage is actually based on and my car was brought out to commemorate the win that this car had in the 24 hour Le Mans. So it's very, very cool to see the actual car that won that race. I'm immediately drawn to this on the front here. I want these fog lights on my car. If anyone knows how to do that in a uh, proper way without completely destroying the cooling of the car and wrecking the car, then please do let me know. I will be speaking to ProDrive at some point, seeing whether or not they can do that, if that's something they'd be interested in doing. Probably not, um, because it is probably a waste of time. But I just think it looks really cool. Full carbon inlay on those lights in there, and it's kind of set back behind the grill. It's got this its own carbon kind of tray that it sits in it's not just lights shoved in there really cool setup anyway and the colorway the halo kind of color scheme sterling green with the uh, acid lime green whatever it is all over it uh, that is why my car is as it is it's just a cool piece of aston history uh and yeah super special to see this thing in the flesh just sat here at pro drive we also have a world rally championship winning car obviously uh colin mccray piloted this thing to uh, World Rally Championship glory. Again, amazing to see this thing in the flesh because I used to play Colin McRae Rally when I was a kid on the PlayStation or PC, whatever it was at that point. And I remember razzing around on the game in this actual car and also the car with 555 on the side of it. Um, this one isn't actually that car, but this is the actual car that won the World Championship. Unless any of you want to tell me any different. In which case, then, I believe you. But yeah, super cool to see it in the flesh. They've also got a mini uh, Pro Drive racing car over there as well. And there's people still in front of it. But yeah, two very cool pieces of history here at Pro Drive, just in the entrance, just whilst people are having coffee. Okay.
into where the shafts are put together and uh, bonded and all the rest of it. These chassis come straight from Gaydon, from Aston Martin Direct, and ProDrive actually make the racing cars pretty much from scratch. They don't just take advantage and tweak it, they are made from scratch, and these chassis come straight from Gaydon. So uh, we're just going around the rest of it now, and we've got a little tour going on. The chap here is just making a wishbone out of steel, all hand welded, absolutely unbelievable, and it takes them ages, meticulous, meticulous stuff. They were saying here that an oil tank takes 18 hours to make, um, so it really is kind of laborious stuff. And the kind of guys here with the skill sets these guys have, you just don't really find in any other industry. So actually ProDrive do a lot of the uh, steel stuff for Formula One as well, because Formula One cars now are predominantly carbon, but a few steel parts, ProDrive have the expertise here that they actually do those parts as well, so I'm trying not to interrupt the tour with my, uh, my nonsense here, but 18 hours to make a, uh, an oil tank. Because they've got dry stumps, the G, uh, GT3 cars, they need an oil tank and um, yeah, it takes 18 hours to make them. So, bit of trivia here on this channel today. So this is said oil tank that I've been banging on about. Yeah. Don't say you don't learn anything on this channel. That takes 18 hours to make uh, and it's a lovely piece of kit. Well, there's welds. Beautiful, and I think that goes on the bottom as well. Does it not? Fantastic. So this then behind us is the Aston Martin GT car. This is their current racing car. The car that will be uh, racing in all the series. GT sits at the top, and then it's the GT3, and then it's the GT4. Um, to all intents and purposes, they're basically sort of um, less extreme versions of one another, um, varying on sort of uh, the professional level of the races involved and the, and the championship and all the rest of it. But this is the top of the line car, and that is kind of denoted by the fact that it is lime green. ProDrive was saying that they, usually they make 30 to 40 cars a year, but this year they're making up to 75, which doesn't sound like a lot, considering a mini are churning out cars every 60 seconds. They are up to 75 cars a year here at ProDrive, which is a record year for them, which is very, very cool. Nice to see kind of a British firm making British racing cars uh, absolutely thriving and churning out amazing pieces of kit like this. Super, super cool. And over there, yet again, we have another um, Halo spec, old Vantage racing car, AMR. And that ni number 95 down there, actually across the line with the number 97 car, which I've just shown you in reception. And I was there at Le Mans when those cars did that. So an another piece of history in here. And also next bit, if you've spotted that curious piece of kit down there, I believe that is actually a ProDrive car. Um, they made a car, so there we go. We've also got some uh, other pieces of history over here. I think cars were just cooler back in the day. I mean, that, this thing, that's a bit me. Probably one of the coolest things in here. And so is that, to be honest. Epic, absolutely epic MG. So cool. Back when you're allowed to advertise cigarettes freely, it led to some really, really nice liveries, to be fair. I don't like smoking, but I like the liveries associated with racing cars. So there we go. We've got a Subaru up there as well. But lots of cool bits going on here. So then that is now the factory tour complete, uh, factory pro drive facility tour complete. It's super, super cool to have all these special edition, limited edition Aston Martins kind of lined up here. We have GTA after GTA after GTA. And considering how few of these cars they made, I think 150, there's a huge chunk of them sat right here. And everyone's got together on this Friday afternoon to kind of come down and visit. There's a load of AMR cars as well. Obviously mine being one of them. And we have one disappearing right there in a rare, rather rare uh, cobalt blue colour. One car has stuck out actually here to me. This car here has got a supercharger kit on it. It's pushing out 608 brake horsepower. And uh, the company that's done this is GMR. So if you are in the market for a GTA and you want more shunt, then do give them a shout. <laughs> There we go. I'll invoice you for that. <laughs> uh, but no, I've never actually seen this being done before. 
Yeah. And yeah, so that's got the 4.7 litre V8 in it, but it's got a supercharger bolted on top, which is absolutely mental. I'm reliably informed that it goes like hell, sounds like hell, and yeah, that is a super cool upgrade. And I've never seen it done before, but um, yeah, Pro Drive chaps are very interested as well. And we have got a GTA on its way with a number 95 numbering on there to um, replicate the Le Mans uh, success car and obviously the full halo colorway as well but yeah mental to have them all lined up here we obviously have Schmies here as well here he is hi should we do a high five is that a thing do we do high fives i'm not really sure it is now it's, it's youtube anything goes so Schmies car's here he's actually been uh, fiddling around with the aero uh, apparently these little bits down here you can take these on and off and he's been uh taking them on and off i think they're going to come off for the journey home but yeah, we've got an AMR car, AMR car, that's a V12, that's a V12, that's a V12, V12, yeah, we, we, we've uh, spotted that one, V12 as well, that is an AMR car as well, but without the stripe, in a very, very cool colour, we like that a lot, V8, V8, and my, oh no, I thought that was mine, that's the supercharged car, and we've got another V8, that's exactly the same as mine pretty much, I thought that was mine, although he's got slightly different seats in there, comfort seats, V600, extremely cool car, very, very rare, and very nice to get this out on the roads with us. It's a bit of an honor to have this with us. We have a standard manual Vantage V8 here. Again, it still just looks amazing. A dark blue interior, and the owner of this has also got a GTA, which is currently in storage. Um, and he, uh, he runs the GTA club, super cool guy. And finally, we have my one. The only one here without a front plate, um, sadly fell off on the way. and from Pro Drive here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and off the back of this kind of escapade, I now want a GTA. So that is gonna be another saga on my channel. See you all very soon. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you all another time. Bye now. Ciao, see you mate. See you later, take care.